Remembering off by heart can be pretty difficult, but with these techniques, you can easily navigate your way to finding the answers of your ninth times table. Hey guys, welcome back to the Easy Maths channel. In this video, we're going to be exploring some methods on how you can easily know your ninth times table. Let's get into it. Let's look at the first one. Here we're going to write down our whole ninth times table. 1 times 9 is 9, 2 times 9 is 18, 3 times 9 is 27, 4 times 9 is 36, 5 times 9 is 45, 6 times 9 is 54, 7 times 9 is 63, 8 times 9 is 72, 9 times 9 is 81, and 10 times 9 is 90. Notice that the digits on the left hand side ascend from 1 to 8, excluding 1 times 9 and the digits on the right hand side decrease from 8 to 1. This means that whenever you need to write out your full ninth times table, you can easily write 1 times 9 equals 0, 9, and then just jot down numbers ascending from 1 to 8 on the left hand side, and numbers descending from 8 to 1 on the right hand side. This will result in a full 1 to 10 ninth times table. Now let's look at another simple way to know your ninth times table. This technique is similar to the first one, but structured in a unique way. This technique will help you remember your ninth times table. Here we have nine times three. What we're going to do is take three and think of the number directly behind it. This gives us two. Now we're going to think about what number when added with two will give us nine. Seven. 2 plus 7 will give us 9. This gives our answer for 2 times 3, 27. Now let's try 9 times 4. One number directly behind 4 is 3. And what number, when added with 3, will give us 9? 6. So our answer to 9 times 4 will be 36. Now let's give 9 times 5 a go. One digit right behind 5 is 4. And the number that will give us 9 when added to 4 is 5. So our answer to 9 times 5 is 45. Now let's try 9 times 6. The digit right behind 6 is 5. And what digit will give us 9 when added to 5? 4. This makes our answer for 9 times 6 to be 54. Now let's give 9 times 7 a go. The digit directly below 7 is 6. Now what digit when added to 6 will give us 9? 3. This makes our answer to 9 times 7, 63. Let's give 9 times 8 a go. The digit directly below 8 is 7. And the digit when added to 7 to get 9 is 2. 7 plus 2 is 9. This makes our answer to 9 times 8, 72. How about 9 times 9? The digit that is directly below 9 is 8. And when added to 8, 1 gives us the result of 9. So our answer to 9 times 9 is 81. Let's try 10 times 9. The digit directly below 10 is 9. The digit to add to 9 to give us a result of 9 is essentially 0. So our answer to 10 times 9 is 90. Now let's go back to the equations we didn't complete. 9 times 1. The digit directly below 1 is essentially 0. And the digit to add to 0 that will give us 9 is 9. So our answer will be 0, 9. And we all know that when a zero is front of a digit, we don't need to count it. So our answer will be just nine. Now nine times two. The digit directly below two is one. And the digit to one, and the digit to add to one that will give us nine is eight. So our answer to nine times two will be 18. We hope that these two methods helped you with understanding the concept of the 9th times table easier. These techniques will help you when working with the 9th times table in any sort of equation. If you liked the video, make sure to like and subscribe for more.